Microcasting for your city. Talk Talkopolis. Bandwidth for today's show is brought to you by SoftLayer.com. We love SoftLayer here at Talkopolis. They are the greatest hosting company ever. They make everything easy. Check out their website at SoftLayer.com. Thanks again for sponsoring the show. Hey everyone. Hello. It is November 12th, Monday. Monday. I hope you're awake. Welcome to Music Business Daily. We're going to give you the hottest music headlines. Right here. Right now. Well, first, right off the bat, mm -hmm. John Lennon letters coming to new digital app. Yes. Private correspondence from recent collection headed to the iOS. So you can download an app that has private John Lennon letters on it. So mm -hmm. who wouldn't want that? The guy I want that, that wrote the book, mm -hmm. Hunter Davies, wrote mm -hmm. the John Lennon letters, uh, 300 letters and postcards that he wrote to his friends and family. He selected 68 letters just for the app. So if you're obsessed with John Lennon and the Beatles, you probably need it. Yes, you do. You can also read it maybe as like a bedtime story. Mm -hmm. like John Yoko Lennon's Ono to you. put in a foreword about it. Yes. So there you go. So be ready for that one. Another coming thing you. coming for you. I is love this story. <laughs> you want to take it? I do. Okay. The Walkman is this cute little indie band. And they are making headlines because they're making up for one of their canceled shows um, with spaghetti, canned beer, and Peter Gabriel. What else could you ask for? Nothing. That and is awesome. Another little bonus, Kins. Yes. Is that they're going to feature half-assed versions of Coldplay's The Scientist, yes. Big Shoe, Living Colors, Cult of Personality, and Peter Gabriel's Salisbury Hill. So they had to cancel a show, and they said people that have their tickets, they said, we're really sorry we had to cancel it for a re whatever really dumb reason. So they said, hey, we'll make up for it. We're going to have this private event. You can just come hang out with us, like just bro out and drink beer and, and, and eat some spaghetti. And it's going to go down before their rescheduled show. Mm -hmm. So there you so go. So it's like a twofer. Yeah. So you, that's going to be really fun. And they also said, basically, um, if you don't have a ticket stub anymore or never had one in the first place, you're welcome to write in and they will consider you if you just want to hang out with the band. So Like email or longhand? I don't know. Or they postcard. did not specify. Oh, well, maybe like a John Lennon postcard. Yes. You could send it in. Be or one with a windmill from yes. Oklahoma because I sent those. Well, that is very <laughs> sweet of you. <laughs> Record stores are <laughs> really <laughs> After Hurricane Sandy. Yes. Everybody's suffering from Sandy, that Indeed. bee. I know. But she's closing down everything. She's closing down local record stores. It was on Rolling Stone. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's obviously a lot of small businesses are affected, but they said she's that. She's crippled retailers yes. and record industry sources. They're down Estimate 12 percent They've taken a 15% weekly hit. Mm -hmm. So there was, they talked to a guy who owns a record store in New Jersey, mm -hmm. and he said he hopes that people will come back for the day after Thanksgiving because that is record store day. So yep. hopefully that'll I bring a little wait. more business Grimies. there. I know. It's going to be fun. So if you live in the uh, Northeast area, show the record store some love. Go buy an album. They Go need buy it. Vinyl. You know, music is the best therapy. We agree That's here. That's right. It needs to be in high demand. It needs to be in high demand. What else is in high demand, Sarah? Uh, Beatles buses. Woo! They're headed for New York and L.A. I am just... Mobile double-decker record mm. shops will carry vinyl reissues. I'm jealous. We're I all wish... about the Beatles today. It is a Beatle Beatleopolis. Beatleopolis. <laughs> um, <laughs> we are twins. I know. But they're going to have um, record shops, kind of like the Third Man Records has that little mobile record store, but they're mm -hmm. going to have, um, de like, double-decker buses that you can go get all the vinyl re reissues. November 13th. So, so... it's going to feature 14 stereo LP the 12 UK originals yes. and the US originated Magical Mystery Tour with the B-sides. So, so I am personally excited because I'm a big Beatles fan and I wish that I was in New York or LA I was about to, to see the, the buses. Same. Yes. We're going to have to YouTube that. We will. We'll get be some stalking it all day. Show ya. So we can show you what we missed out on. But if you, you know, if you get on the bus, tweet us at Talkopolis. I was about to say, you need to share with us mm. some things we're telling you about yes. that you go and see yes. and then give it back to us. So it's called we love. We are frenzies. <laughs> Yes, please, please. <laughs> we would love to be frenzies with Stevie Nicks and Santana yes. because they are doing a, it's uh, like a non industry event. Mm -hmm. It's called the Sunset Sessions 2012 in Las Vegas. Yes. So says the event's founder, Michelle Clark, giving artists a true voice to be heard and creating an environment that's conducive to listening and connecting. That's why it's what it's all about. So all these superstars mm -hmm. are going to be singing and performing at this industry event. It's cool because their whole thing is to basically get artists in touch with like radio and in touch with mm -hmm. different promotion agencies. So maybe if they're not being promoted as well or if they're not being played on the radio yet, you know, that's kind of like Network, a hard world friends. to navigate. So and you get to do that all while listening to Stevie Nicks and Santana live. So And I'm Jason jealous. Mraz, because he's in this picture. Jason so in that photo. he so, might make a cameo. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Blink Something else is coming at you. Blink 182 to release new EP by Christmas. Yes. Now we just told you a couple of weeks ago that they left Interscope and mm -hmm. they were just itching to put out new things. Ready. And so they said this new material will be out in a few weeks. I am excited. 
I think, I mean, they said, uh, they put it on Twitter, and they've been using that to communicate with their fans, and then they also then posted to their website that they're having a new EP for Christmas. So I think it'll be really cool to hear, because they still have such a big fan base, and I want to know how they're putting this out, whether it's going to be just a digital release, or whether it's, you know, it's all going to be independent. So I just think it's cool that they are getting on the ball, putting out new music right after they left their label. Either way, December is going to be Tacky Friday yes. for the Music Business Daily. So get Ta ready wait, for sweaters. Not just Tacky Fridays. <laughs> tacky, tacky sweater. Sweater Fridays. <laughs> So we're going to play this for you. Yes. This and is our last story of the day. probably Mariah Carey's Obama song that I'm still jamming to. <laughs> yes. It's going to be coming, making a reappearance. Coming at With you. this dog song. This Take is it, Kelsey. the best story. <laughs> Research has finally proven that everyone hates the singing dogs version of Jingle Bells. Have you missed it? Have you missed it? Because Christmas we need is to play up. a little we're bit gonna of We're going to play it. a little snack and then we'll tell you about the story. <laughs> a little snack. A little musical Let me snack. Adjust the old volume here. Yes. It is, it is a good one. <laughs> yeah, so this Nothing is like it. <laughs> Nothing like it at all. I like how the runner up behind this is the Beach Boys, the man with all the toys. Yeah, nobody likes that one. But Slightly above singing dogs. Apparently, uh, there was a marketing firm in New Jersey and they Edison surveyed, research. They surveyed some women, some women ages 30 through 49, ladies. Well, we're all the tastemakers, everyone knows Obviously. That. To find out which Christmas songs they hated the most. And it was, all, all of them was, it's the singing dogs jingle bells. So, officially, they didn't even have to tell a party them. They didn't pooper. have to give them choices. They yeah, were they were like, like, what's the worst Christmas the song? Uh, d no, none of those dogs. <laughs> I don't want to hear them barking ever. So I don't know. That's pretty much what's pretty much what topped it. Mm -hmm. But apparently, the best testing Christmas song is Andy Williams. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Everyone loves that. I, I never get tired. That. I no. can listen to that in July. Oh, we and should. I just want just, some snow flurries. We're gonna listen to it today, <laughs> are we? <laughs> yes. Later. Later. After this, sorry, we will be listening you don't to get it. a sneak peek of that. Nope. But. but Anyway, so enjoy your Monday. Come mm -hmm. back tomorrow. Hope we were entertaining. Woke yep. you up a bit. Yep. Got you and in the Christmas events. spirit. <laughs> we'll see you Tuesday. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Microcasting for your city. Talk Opolis.